looking at the um, question 1c from the National 5 2015 physics paper. It says when the switch is closed, now let's go back up and have a look at what this actually means. When the switch is closed, lamp L will be brighter, dimmer or the same as lamp M. You must justify your answer. When the switch is closed, lamp M, was it lamp M? Lamp L, sorry, will be brighter, dimmer or the same as lamp M. So this is what the question is referring to. We close the switch. Which of these lamps uh, are going to be brighter or is one of them uh, going to be uh, just the same brightness as the other? Uh, so what I'll say, first of all, is I'll give you the answer. Um, and I'll just type this in here. That lamp L will be brighter. So that is our answer. And you get one mark for that. Um, what I will say is that if you if you give a good justification, but you don't say that, you won't get any marks. You must give an answer before you justify, and the answer must be correct before you get any marks. OK, so then the um, question is, well, why is that? Why is the uh, lamp L brighter? So let's go back up. I've got this. Uh, still up on the screen. Lamp L is brighter. Well, let's have a look at the resistor. It's in parallel with lamp M. So that's really the, the next thing that we need to say. Um, the resistor is in parallel with lamp M. So we'll write that in as well. Uh, resistor is in parallel with lamp M. So I guess the question is, well, why does that have any um, effect? And um, there's two ways that we can answer that. Oops. Let's have another look at the circuit. Um, the first way we can think about is thinking about what happens to the current. Well, if there's current flowing from this battery, let's say it flows in this direction, flows through, through the switch, and uh, reaches here. Well, some of the current is going to travel through the lamp and some of the current is going to travel through the resistor. All of that current will get here again and all of that current will tra travel through the lamp L. And so therefore, all of the, when all of the current is traveling through lamp L, not all of the current is traveling through lamp M. So what we can say is that because the resistor is in parallel with lamp M, lamp M gets or has less current flowing through it than lamp L has. So we'll write that in down here. Uh, so let's do that now. Less current in lamp. Oops. M than lamp L. Okay. So that's effectively our answer complete. However, we can answer the the third part of that really. Uh, talking about voltage instead of current. So if we go back up to the circuit diagram, what can we think about in terms of voltage? Well, if we look at the fact that the resistor is in parallel with lamp M, what that means is if you've effectively got two resistors um, connected here in parallel, and so the total resistance of this uh, part of the circuit is going to be less than uh, this part over here. And so if there's less voltage, across this part of the circuit, sorry, less resistance across this part of the circuit, then there's obviously less voltage across it as well. Whereas because there's more resistance here, there is more voltage. So what we can say is, as well as saying there's less current in lamp M, uh, we can also say uh, there is less voltage across lamp M. So we'll write that in down here uh, in the correct spot. So let's do that. Uh, less voltage across lamp M. Okay, I suppose for completeness uh, we should really add um, therefore more current in uh, through lamp L. And let's move that to the right place. 
and we can also say therefore more voltage cross lamp L and I'll move that to the right place. So um, that's the two ways of answering the question. And one final thing just to add here, the SQA are really um, precise in their language um, and uh, and they really want you to use proper language when they're, you're talking about current or voltage. So when you're talking about current, you must say that the current passes through the lamp. You can't use um, a phrase such as current going to the lamp or the current across the lamp. Um, and when you're talking about voltage, you must say voltage across the lamp. You cannot say the voltage through the lamp. Okay, so there's just a couple of things there that are really important um, whenever you're dealing with using the correct language.